at some point of your business, you end up on Shark Tank. At what point were you guys, like how long have you been selling the product before you got on Shark Tank? And what was the seed? You know, obviously a lot of companies goes on and what was the thing that made you say, I need to go on this show? So again, this wasn't supposed to be a company. There are a lot of starts and stops. I had a full-time job. I was actually part of another startup that then got acquired. So, I mean, like there were starts and stops, right? So Shark Tank is something, I mean, I always say like Shark Tank is basically the, the soundtrack of my parents' life. Like when, when like they're home and kind of making dinner and stuff, Shark Tank's playing in the background. So I was very aware of the show. We talked to a lot of people like, oh, you should go on Shark Tank. And, you know, I just kind of punched into Google how to get on Shark Tank. <laughs> and it turns out there's a couple different ways to do it. We literally just wrote an email to like pitch at sharktanktv.com. And wow. apparently that's, I guess I was naive enough to think that that would work because as I understand, not many people do it that way. Most people go to open casting calls or they have some help, sure. you know, getting on the show, but it worked out for us. So, <laughs> I mean, we didn't do anything fancy. Let's put it that way. It was, it was a surprise. Yeah, that's great. And then you got on the show and then you end up getting a deal with Mark Cuban. He uh, basically doubles your, he doubles his take, right? So you, I think it's 400K at 10% and then it ended up being 400K at 20%. We've had a lot of people on the podcast that have been on Shark Tank. And one of the things that this one individual mentioned is apparently there's this, there's a girl out there who has tracked all of the Shark Tank episodes what they offer, what the valuation, if a deal was made. And it turns out just that after 10 years of base of data, what it, what it, what actually turns out is that the sharks will always either reduce their stake, right? So basically they always want two X what, what you want. That's what happens every time. And so valuations always get cut in half. Almost, it's almost like a rule now. And I saw that with yours and I was like, Oh, that's really interesting. Here it is. It happened again, more data. What has Mark been like to work with and how has he helped your company? after the show. Yeah. So one of the things just to realize about Shark Tank, and I'm sure this is, this is not a secret, is the show really is genuine in that the sharks have no idea. They know nothing about you before you walk out there. They're handed a, you know, a card with your name and how to pronounce your company name. So after you kind of make an on-air deal, you go through due diligence where you actually meet the teams and kind of start working with them to see if it's actually going to be a good fit. And, you know, basically as we kind of went down that path, we just, we both, both sides kind of agreed that it wasn't going to be a great fit. So we didn't actually end up closing okay. with Mark. Yeah. But his okay. team was yeah. tremendous. I mean, it was just that due diligence process was really quite enlightening. And, you know, he has a absolutely stand up professional team and, and they were great. It just, we had just, we just had different visions for the company. Yeah. But the beautiful thing is you're on air. And so you get a tremendous amount of marketing. And now to some extent, you've been given an opportunity at scale to really educate the market on the problem. And so what has happened since then? And so what have you guys leaned into? You know, obviously, I think at this point, your company has seems to be like pretty well known. What have you seen just in terms of in terms of marketing and in terms of sales? Yeah, I mean, we were on an upward trajectory anyway. So one of the things with us, we actually were told that we weren't going to air. So we were not counting on that at all. So we just kind of got back to business. I mean, you know, at that point we were working on growth and things like that. You know, I'd started hiring people. I made my first hire in January, 2018. Um, so we're actually working towards incremental month over month growth. And basically what Shark Tank did for us, it kind of, obviously we saw the spike when our episode aired, but it also kind of changed the slope of that growth. So our, our trajectory changed. So it's just kind of one of these things where when you're a new company starting out, one of the questions you get a lot is like, are you legit? And it just really, really helps to be able to point to you know, national exposure like that. Because before you go on the show, you go through due diligence with you know, the production company and stuff. They want to make sure that you're not a criminal or you know, going to yeah. pull fraud on, use their platform to pull fraud. So there's, it's a bit of a truth stamp for us. And we do use it in our, in our marketing, just kind of being, hey, you might have seen us or learned about us on Shark Tank, but you know, here's what we're doing now. That's great. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out that clip. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in hearing the full episode, it's out right now on our YouTube channel. We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before, and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. 
And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, see you later.